Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a very, 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 very special and very unplanned GNN. As uh, some information has come to light, the cat is out of the bag. We're going out of order. But more importantly, as you can see on the top of the little uh, YouTube video there, we have a trailer for the Rosa Zulu. It's confirmed as this week's uh, four star suit. But we'll get into it shortly because I want to watch this out. And then um, as we did with previous videos, we'll go ahead and go through it again one more time, mute it so we can kind of uh, address some of the stuff there. So without further ado, let's go. I always get juiced about these two. I know we got some Angelo fans in chat there, or in the comments. Clean. Looks clean. Okay. Particle cannons, just like the uh, Hama Hama. Two-bit downswing, maybe? Oh, should have balancers, I would imagine. Wire claw lock-on, okay. Pincer, yeah, pincer funnel type attack, okay. Mega particle cannon like the uh, Kshatriya, I think. Looks, it looks very much like the Kshatriya, or maybe even the uh, Jack Doga shield. Psycho jammers. Oh, control device, that's kind of cool. Defense mode, so it's like a, it's like an active guard almost. Beam disturbance. Oh, okay, yeah. So it is a Jack Doga. Yeah, so it does have the Jack Doga skill. God, that looks so clean. All right, folks, we're gonna go through it again step by step. But uh, this time we could kind of skip, pause, whatever. I know some things already just by the fact that um, it has that beam diffusion shield thing. That's the thing that caught my eye. And I was like, oh yeah, that's the that's like the um, DJ Traversia and the Jagdoga skill. So that's kind of neat. Um, we kind of assumed that this was going to have a lot of carryover from the Hama Hama. And since this is based on the Hama Hama frame, the chassis, a lot of the, the move sets, a lot of the things that are related to that transitioning into what we now know as the Rosen Zulu from uh, Gundam Unicorn. It's no surprise a lot of the weapons, a lot of the sort of things that we have here, like the primary here, works very similar. I've never used one. I've kind of, I guess, I wouldn't say I'm scared to use it, but like I just haven't had a chance to really take one out with full confidence. And at the same time, it's like I think the base version of the Hama Hama is at 600, so it's never up whenever I want to play it. And even then, if it's up, I it's not on a map that I would feel like it's does really well in. But it's a very flexible support, just the fact that it has a balancer on there. And, it, you know, the Hama Hama, in contrast to this, has a beam saber, so it has some reach to it. Um, it could catch people off to the side. Uh, this thing here, hard to say how that's going to deal with Melee, even though a lot of the weapons that it has is more range oriented, as with most supports, and the fact that you do have a uh, psycho, uh, psycho frame jammer capability, as as seen in the anime here. So uh, let's go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. Um, it has a side swing, and yeah, it looks like it, like I mentioned, a two hit downswing, which more than likely it's just gonna have balancers, which I would assume as much. Um, I don't see it having anything else in addition to that. You know, there's just so there's still amount a certain amount that we just don't know yet in regards to that. And of course, the wired hand claw kind of being the um, very similar to like the totes rear attack uh, with the tri blades. This is going to have its own version of that. Um, jumping into incoms, it's just going to be a quick pincer two shot. Great for kind of tripping up people. The only problem is trying to get. A lock on like faster targets. I know they like using space as an example here. I never really see the ground combat aspect, especially 
in 700 Mountain. I know you guys keep on asking about that in some shape or form. Don't. <laughs> Anyways, enough of segueing there. Um, we do get the lovely Beam Shield, which effect-wise heavily reminds me of the attack that comes from the Kshatriya. That's why I kind of mentioned that a little bit. We'll scroll up a few seconds frame-wise, and it literally hits all of those uh, defensers that are clumped up that, that way. So it's got a, I would say, a cone-wide area effect that is pretty potent, especially if you're trying to lock down a corridor. It doesn't have the same lockdown capability as the Kshatri, but I think this is unique enough to be a, a pain. <laughs> um, of course, the triple mega particle cannon, I think the Hamahama has something similar to that, but you have to charge it, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody's going to yell at me in comments there. I'm sure. Um, but that's that's what comes to mind. And of course, we got the uh, cancel psycho jammers there. This locks on here. Uh, the thing that catches my eye is the fact that when you deploy the field, the damage inflicted by enemy mobile suits upon advantageous categories is reduced. Um, oh, by the end of by the enemy mobile suits upon advantageous. So like, say, the raids. They're, they get a damage debuff, and then the damage received by the enemy uh, will suit from disadvantage, disadvantageous categories is increased. So I don't know what kind of math we're dealing with here in terms of canceling out the advantage, disadvantage, um, you know, damage categories there, but it's going to definitely mitigate some of that. So, and also disable Psychomu armaments and the, you know, NTD and mobility. So this is kind of like the. Uh, the uh, <laughs> the little jar uh, effect that the um, B packs has, and then um, basically if they're activating NTD damage is inflicted on the mole suit at regular intervals. Basically, I wonder if it's going to be kind of like a fixed amount, kind of like how you have incendiary rockets and everything. Um, skill effect is not affected by shortening effect of custom parts. That's good to know. I'm not sure exactly if that even if it's even worth throwing in there. Most people don't, I would say, at 700, but I know some people will try, just kind of figure it out. It's good to know that this is spelled out for us. Um, the field cannot be deployed against a mobile suit that has disabled the disuse effect of Psychomu armament. So if it's already in effect and you're just spawning in, you pretty much can't lock on it, which kind of sucks, but there's that. And then um, Defense Mode 3, so basically this is, I guess, a unique version I think specific to the Risen Zulu, it's like an active guard, uh, consuming thruster, like an active guard, uh, defensive stance reduces damage by a certain amount and disables reactions. The same defensive stance cannot be manually re uh, released for a certain period of time, depending on the attack that has been disabled. Uh, the skill can be used during landing, when stopped, or moving. So I don't know how much of a instantaneous reaction this is going to have because we all know GBO2 latency and all that fun jazz is. Uh, special um but we'll see maybe some people some people are usually aware enough to where it's like hey i'm about to get stunned let's just go ahead and hit it and maybe stand still give them something easy to shoot at you know bait out an attack and you know they gotta wait for the reload everything so that's kind of neat yeah kind of like we see here and then um beam disturbance shield so uh very much the same skill as the traversia that we just got as a um, I think it's a four star general, if I'm not mistaken. I, I know it's, I should know this, but it's hard to remember over 350, 400 account mobile suits in a, in a game that's been running for about, you know, five years now. Um, but yeah, basically, when you're charging it, I'm guessing, yeah, it reduces the 70 uh, damage reduction by 70. You know, so I wonder if I'm surprised this doesn't have like that same type of two level charging thing, too. That would be kind of neat. But I guess it doesn't have it, or if it does have it, they didn't say anything yet. But uh, basically, all above effect is activated, damage inflicted, and focusing speed of the target armament is increased for a certain amount of time. So that's kind of cool. This might be a fun, uh, fun suit to play with as a support. I know uh, our boy Avenger, uh, Mr. One Bar from our last major outing, is probably going to be, you know rolling hard for this. I mean, this is his uh, character, if you will, so I'm pretty sure he will. 
and I'm pretty sure those boys will let me know if the next Hazel comes out. Cause yeah, we'll see. So enough of that. On to the uh, developer newsletter. All right, folks, here we are going out of order, as I mentioned. So this is from Nakagawa. I know I'm talking about this really fast, so I'm sorry. This is I'm literally coming straight from <laughs> from work and running into this. But um, new game mode situation battles being added. So situations for various Gundam episodes can be now re-experienced. This is during the weekend. So in the near update, you basically play a scene actually from the Gundam series, which has the same situation for stories. Pilots will have to use the unit and equipments that have already been set, which means you cannot use your own, but still play this mode, even if you don't have the decent units. So, um, I wonder if this is kind of like a play on... Oh no, it's not a, It's not even going to be playing on a, a was it, uh, the PvE scenario, so basically it's going to be matched. Um, Situation Battle is based on basic, but pilots will be randomly assigned a mobile suit in the briefing room. Wow! So this is, you know, this is something different. This might be actually kind of cool, because then it tests the prowess of if you've been playing more than just generals or raids or supports. Because, trust me, if this was, like, year two me, uh, I'd probably not have a fun time, but... Um, so basically, yeah, it's going to be randomized. Point two different tasks for mobile suits in each game. Every unit has their own task and position to play in the team. For example, play as the ace and earn score as much as possible. A planned mobile suit, but able to support your teammate, help your ace massively, extra good at blah 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 and perfectly deal with specific type of mobile suits hmm it's like that pilots are expected to have different moves different skills compared to other game modes like this you have to play Zaku as support but next time it could be the ace in the team but still using Zaku huh key to win is this mode is to cooperate with your teammate based on your position support the whole team and head to victory it could be interesting it could be equally frustrating but I like the fact that they're adding different things for us to do that's always a good thing. Now, looks like they're adding a new weapon for the uh, game walk. It's getting the ch child funnels uh, stationary, which um, I think it's kind of like um, how the Kibale has the um, the burst fire. Well, it's not really burst fire, but it has all the funnels deployed and you just fire it. So it's like a, a means of quick DPS while everything else is cooling down. That's kind of cool. Launch and settle muddle funnel, then it'll launch shut off child funnel. Sorry, I'm like slurring this really quickly. Uh, automatically search and attack enemies in range. When activated, other weapons need other funnel or child funnels will not be able to be used. Combine the other weapons make a good combo. So that's kind of cool. I know some people that have the game walk and are really, uh, really, really talented with that. That'd be kind of cool. And of course, the inappropriate actions in GBO2. God. I guess they had to reiterate that, but you know, I've been on both sides of that. I really try not to go out of my way to do these things, but, you know, things happen, especially with a game that relies on teams. So, basically, they've said, we stood a clear message from all the time from the very release. Any kinds of actions annoying uh, that annoy other players is obviously unacceptable, and we're delivering the policy again here. Uh, never allow intentional friendly fire, abandoning the battle, and continuous inappropriate... I'm guessing that's supposed to mean inappropriate actions. It says incorporate, but I'm pretty sure that means inappropriate. Disconnecting from battle, verbal insult, and shit talking to other pilots via chat or mail. It says it right here. Um, or any other actions we may cause other pilots' unpleasantness in GBO2. Once we confirm the report's credibility, then warning will be sent to the target and even banning the account forever. Of course, we have no mind to change this policy in the future as well. We are aware the moral line is getting closer and closer, and some words might be okay in the past, but it's causing a great trouble. Causing a trouble, basically these days. We want to provide a comfortable game environment for all pilots. It may be a good idea to think about your words will hurt someone else. We would like to share you all our missions and let you all enjoy the game, make friends with each other, and create GBO2 the best editor ever and ever. Which, I mean, when you look at it that way, it makes sense. You know, unfortunately things happen and you know, I guess some people just need a, a constant reminder. Like, if you're not the only one playing this, at the end of the day, like, you may be randomized with somebody, but there's somebody still there. Um, I think, you know, obviously, if you got nothing this good to say, you can say it, keep to yourself. Um, especially for me, I, you know, if I stream, I talk smack and everything. I get discouraged by my team. 
you know, we, we do that, but we leave it right there. I don't even go out of my way to, to send stuff. We're good there. And as we covered earlier, good old sexy Rosen Sulu. That thing is uh, really cool. Like, I don't even... I wouldn't say I've been, like, super, super excited, but, like, seeing the amount of passion and care for them to bring this into the game, now that we've had Unicorn and everything else, it's, it's really cool. So, man, I'm just really, really super excited. Um, but yeah, we retouched on the Psycho Jammer control system, Bean Do Fusion, and Defense Mode. Um, so, but last but not least, the update will apply on the 22nd of, uh, was that Thursday? Sorry. I'm bad with dates here. Wednesday at 2100 hours Pacific time. We also scheduled a Black Friday event starting the same day, daily supply drops and mobile suits for login bonuses, and there's a bunch of events for all of us this week. There's more. We'll have Special Tolkien Pack on sale during that time today. Today? Hold on. Sorry. I thought it was going to just end there. Valuable 31 token pack is now on sale. 50% off. Apparently it's still listed in Japanese yen, so... That's kind of cool. Special supply drop. Two star or rare daily for free. Collect up to seven. One chance every day. Starting the 22nd. And ends on the 29th. And then login bonuses. You get your login and mole suit presents, so... That's cool. I, I, I almost ended it right there, but for just for logging in, chance to get level 1 Mark 2. So especially even if you have it, make sure you've uh, unlocked all the tuning slots so that way you get credit in case you go a little over. Um, the Black Dogs GM Spartan level 1, which is a 400 raid like you see there, and then the level 1 Black Rider. So it's, if you already had it, you're going to get recycled tickets as well, but you still get tuning. So that's pretty cool. That is amazing. I think that's pretty cool looking forward going into Christmas time. I'm just hoping, uh, BB Studios, if you're watching this, I, I need more of my hazels, please. Please make my Christmas exciting. I know, <laughs> I know it's kind of a, a long shot here, but yeah. Anyways, that'll be it for tonight's special unannounced and pulling of the carpet special edition of GNN. Hopefully you guys have a great night, great morning, wherever you are. And uh, let me know if you guys are going to pull for this. I'm very excited. This is rare for me to have my face on it because I don't like showing my face, but I feel like it's important for us to react to that and look into all this new stuff that just got thrown at us right now. I'm just kind of like processing still <laughs> that, oh my God, the Rosen Zulu is actually coming tomorrow. Well, Tomorrow's, th I'm thinking today's Tuesday or three, but you know, Wednesday night. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys all on the next video.